Welcome to EvoEd Bio Basics. I'm Dr. Pete. Today, I'm going to answer the question, how does ATP provide energy within cells? Well, for starters, ATP is short for adenosine triphosphate. It's a molecule. It looks like this. Most ATP is produced in organelles in our cells called the mitochondria. The key feature of ATP is these three phosphate groups. They all carry a negative charge, and that means that they sort of repel each other. This makes the bonds that hold them together very weak. It only takes a little bit of energy to break those bonds apart. Remember, breaking bonds requires energy. You can think of bonds kind of like, like these magnets. Breaking bonds is like pulling magnets apart. It requires energy. When bonds form, energy is released into the surrounding environment. Okay, what does that have to do with ATP? Well, let me show you an example. When ATP reacts with water, one of the phosphates from that triphosphate group essentially gets released. A bond is broken. In the process, a hydrogen from water is also released, another bond being broken. The breaking of those bonds requires energy input from the surrounding cellular environment. But look what happens next. The free hydrogen can bond onto the open end of that ADP molecule that was left over when the phosphate came off and the OH from water can bond with that lone phosphate. The forming of these new bonds provides energy into the surrounding cellular environment. Now, here's the kicker. The amount of energy needed from the surrounding cellular environment to initially break the bonds was less than the amount of energy provided back into the cellular environment when the new bonds formed. So the cellular environment experiences a net gain of energy in the exchange. So that's a good example of how ATP provides energy into the cellular environment through a process of breaking weak bonds and then forming stronger ones. If you have a BioBasics question that you'd like me to answer, put it in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time.